Lucas Media. Don't forget to like button, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, however you feeling it. But we got some news coming out of college football. Coach Prime, who was in year two at the University of Colorado or Colorado University, however you say it, the Buffaloes. Paul Fine, Feinbaum basically said that he thinks that Lincoln Riley, who's currently at USC, is going to be out the door and potentially Coach Prime can be the candidate, the next coach. Now, Keyshawn Johnson talked on Undisputed with Skip and Paul Pierce basically saying he don't think it's going to happen. But if it were to happen, it would make the most sense. Everybody says, and everybody pretty much there agreed with it. Now, honestly, <laughs> do I think Coach Prime is going to be the next coach at USC? No, but I don't know if he's going to necessarily stay at Colorado, and I'm going to tell you why. It's too much money out there. The Big Ten got too much money. The SEC got too much money. And the Big 12, they can't compete. I'm sorry. They can't. They cannot compete. You see the Pac-10. The Big Ten was so powerful that the Pac-10 broke up. <laughs> Then they merged with the ACC now, pretty much like the teams that's left. Washington got the hell on and, and USC and UCLA and Oregon and they got They moved on. They moved on. So if you put Prime in a, at a USC or a Big Ten school or SEC school, he's going to have unlimited deep pockets and unlimited resources. Now, I will say this. I don't know if Coach Prime could be the coach. I would love Coach Prime to be the coach of University of Illinois. But I don't know if the boosters and the board of trustees will let him do that. Or at a, or, well, I guess I'm just throwing out a name, Ohio State or Wisconsin. I don't know if those schools will want a prime there. So Colorado might be his best fit, but I don't, we don't know. I know Juju, what's Juju? Um, uh, I'm drawing a blank, y'all. Juju Lewis, Juju Lewis. He committed to SC, and which would be crazy because that'd be Lincoln Riley. He's had, what, three or four now? Different, three different Heisman Trophy winning quarterbacks. But he's supposed to be going there. He committed, but then he's supposed to be still possibly going with Coach Prime. I seen Shador act like he was handing the keys off to him because Shador is going to the league next year. So we'll see. Dion will have to get some star players. And I do think that now, year two, people are going to really start scrutinizing on Dion. The first year, people gave that a pass, and they only won a couple of games. But now, people are expecting at least a bowl game at minimum. If he don't get a bowl game at minimum, you start you might start hearing rumblings. And we know that his boss, the AD, threw the freight. Basically, he put his job and Deion's job on the line, hoping that Deion's able to turn it around. And while he got Travis Hunter and a couple other recruits, he's not getting top classes yet like a, like a Kirby Smart yet. So, we'll have to see. But, oh, if, if Dion was at USC, they would probably be the number one school in the country off of recruiting alone. Coach Prime in L.A.? In L.A. with unlimited pockets? And it's Hollywood? You know how many people would be on the sideline? But, yeah, I, I, I'm buying with Keyshawn. If Ke Keyshawn say it probably ain't going to happen, it's, honestly, it's probably not. What do y'all think? Do y'all think Coach Prime going to stay at Colorado? It's beautiful out there, too, man. Y'all, If y'all ain't never been out there, go, go, go to the Denver Boulder area. It is beautiful. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.